Hi guys, Angie the Craft Nato here, and I am here again today with, yes, another one of my, what's probably going to be a long, long unbagging. So get your whip out, get a snack, get a drink, get ready, because we are going to be here a while. Um, my order today is from FG Normal, and I got some stuff. So let's get into it. Holy guacamole, I got some stuff. And let's see what I got. So I hope everybody's doing well today. I am going to do my best to remember to post this uh, video right away and not hold on to it for three months like I did with those other uh, videos. I still have two more that I have to get out to you that I recorded back in July that somehow I, I missed posting. So they'll be coming, don't worry. So this is the first one, and it looks to be a special drill partial. And because of the quantity of diamond paintings in this order, I don't think I'm gonna be able to link each one individually just because there's not enough characters available. Um, in the description tab. So if you, there's anything that you're interested in, please leave it in the comments and I will definitely respond to you and I'd be happy to look up and give you the link. So this one comes with a standard toolkit, everything you need for diamond painting if you've never diamond painted before. And then they also give you a cheap pair of tweezers um, because it's a special drill project and the first one I got is another in my series of sun and moon. This is actually more of just a sun now that I look at it but you know still along those lines. So it is a 30 by 30 and it has 10 different drill types and there is a fair amount of drilling that you're going to do. It looks like we're going to mainly have rhinestones but let's get into the drills and just check them out and see. So, yup, we have um, red, orange, purple, a deeper purple, turquoise, yellow, ooh, some beautiful black ABs, some uh, faceted marquee, clear, and some faceted marquee pink and then we have some very small teardrop slivers in red and there's quite a few of those too so I'm not sure where those go oh and then we have some larger uh, regular clear rhinestones in a larger size so those are the 10 drill types that are going to go into this one and it'll be cute. It'll, I mean, it doesn't have the moon, but it kind of goes with my sun and moon theme that I have. They have a special section in my scrapbook that I have for, uh, for my special drills. My, like all my 30 by 30s go in there. I'm really behind in keeping up with it, though. I really need to do something. So this next one is a full drill. It's a 30 by 40 round and it's very simple but it's very cute and it just says happy Halloween with a couple of witch pumpkins. If you haven't noticed lately I am loving loving uh, Halloween diamond paintings. So this one is um Got a lot of black in it, but even the background is not solid black. There's a lot of, uh, there's different colors mixed in. The drill field is very clear. Test the sticky of the canvas. The drill, it, the canvas is very, very, very sticky. Super sticky. There are 21 colors. Wow, that's a lot for for what that is. 21 colors. Comes with a standard toolkit. And 
let's see what colors we've got. So we've got yellow and a couple of beiges. Probably gonna have a ton of black. Light brown, gray, deep blue, sage green, bright yellow, that's gonna be our moon because there's quite a few of them. Army green, uh, orangish, light orange. Three big bags of black, dark army green, another orange, a royal blue and a navy blue, cream, purple, mauve, two grays, and that must be like 939 or, oh no, this is 310. Oh, so there's just one bag of 310. So what is this here? Number 11. 11 is 939. So the predominant color is actually going to be 939, which is that dark, dark, almost navy blue. And then there's just, some, all the words are in black and the, not even the pumpkins are black. So it's all 939. So just the words are in black. Well, that's cool. And the words are so nice and thick that they're gonna turn out just fine um, as far as being able to read the words. I don't think there's gonna be a problem with being able to read them at all just because they're all, first of all, they're all the same drill color. And second of all, um, they're so thick. So I don't foresee a problem with the words showing up at all in that diamond painting. Sometimes you gotta worry about that, but I don't think this is one of those times. Okay, let me get these drills put back in here real quickly. I'll try to move as fast as I can, um, but if I don't put them back in right away, I would have quite the mess once, I am, uh, once I'm done with this. So I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, it's a little bit later at night that I'm recording this. I usually don't do recording in the evening, but this order came today and I was gonna let it sit till tomorrow. And then I thought, you know, it's, I feel like getting into it. It's been a while since I've had a big haul. So I decided to do it. All right, this next one is kind of a more pliable canvas then it's not, you know, it's not super, super stiff. This is a 30 by 30 full drill round. And it is of a bathroom. <laughs> it's a bathtub. And this is one of a series of several bathroom scenes that I found. Um, and I just thought, I know you guys are probably thinking, how many bathrooms does this lady have? But I was thinking about changing this. I got the whole series and I was thinking about changing them out with the frogs on the toilet that I got in a previous unboxing um, and kind of just switching those up. This is a really clear drill field. It's picture printed. So um, even though it's only 30 by 30, you should be able to see pretty good detail. And there are 22 colors. And you know what? It's decent sticky. It's not the sticky S, but it's decent. It's not, it's, I would tell you guys if it was, if, it, if I thought it was going to be a problem. And I don't think it's going to be a problem. So this toolkit came with a few baggies. If you are a baggie collector, which I am. I think we all pretty much are. Let's grab the drills from this and see. So we just have a couple colors of beige. Nothing gonna be too bright or anything in here. Three colors of gray, some mustard. That's a beautiful sage green. Some tan, some cream, poopy brown, regular brown, dark tan, dark brown, pink, more brown, and then five different colors of green, varying colors of green, another brown, and then this turquoise. So, and not very much of that turquoise. So it's going to be, that actually matches the colors of my guest's bathroom almost perfectly. 
Oh, look, look cute in there. Except that bathroom doesn't have a tub, but that's okay. That's all right. It would still look cute in there. All right. Moving on. Keep this train rolling. Try not to cut the ends of my canvas off. Sometimes you can pull the sticky apart on these um, containers, but sometimes it's impossible. So this one is double wrapped, and this looks like it's gonna be a special drill partial. And it is, and it is just a beautiful mandala style pattern. Very cute. Ooh, we're gonna have tons of little slivers. All of these flowers around the outside there are all made up of teeny slivers. I love those teeny slivers and I don't know why. That toolkit has some baggies as well. And there are only nine different diamond shapes or types in this diamond painting. But it looks like we've got a good variety. It's not going to be just all rhinestones. So let's check it out. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. I like the colors I'm seeing. So this first one is a beautiful cranberry. Uh, then we have a, a pink, but not like a not like a bright pink. More of a I don't know how to describe that that kind of a pink, a little bit on the red side. Then we have a darker pink. Then we have some red ABs, some yellow ABs, and then we have all those slivers I, were ta I was talking about, and those are all red slivers. Then we have some uh, teardrop shaped iridescent coated red um, rounded top. Then we have these beautiful blue uh, long elongated marquee type and then we have some teardrop iridescent coated clear crystals Ooh, and then we have one of my favorites I don't even know how to, they remind me of a peacock is how I like to describe that's just what these remind me of I don't know how to describe them other than that I wonder where those go Number nine is, okay, so those are going to go in all of these blue spots around there. This is going to be so pretty. I'm going to love this one. So you've got pinks and reds and blues and a little bit of yellow in there. That's going to be, that's going to look really nice when it's completed. It's funny with partials because, um, or with special drills, because of the colors that they use for the codes on the canvas, it's kind of sometimes impossible to tell what it's actually going to look like when it's finished, especially if you're like me and you ordered it and you don't remember what the picture looked like from the time you ordered it to the time you received the order. I'll show you the um, schematic. It's quite small, so but that's going to be the color combination that's in it. Very cute, very, very cute. All right. For the next, for my next trick. Let's see what we've got. There's another full drill and it's another holiday diamond painting and it is another Halloween diamond painting. It's a round drill. That toolkit has baggies as well. So you could collect up some baggies if you got the things in this order. And I loved, this is a nice soft canvas too. I do prefer softer canvases to stiffer canvases. I just find that they usually will flatten out a lot easier and they won't retain some of those creases. Sometimes those real stiff canvases can kind of almost permanently retain those shipping creases. But I thought this was so pretty just with the black and white and patterned pumpkins with this kind of straw wreath in the background. 
and I think it I just love it I think it's um just simple and pretty and it's got that kind of um shiplap barn wood style background that is pure confetti so pure 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 confetti in that background you're not going to be doing hardly any multi-placing if any at all um maybe in the a little bit in the black here of that pumpkin but that's all canvas is very sticky it didn't want to let go of my finger it's so sticky and it has 23 colors and we're looking at only letters in the key which makes it so nice and easy for you for me anyway i don't know about anybody else and let's see what our colors are it's going to be mostly black white and gray but we'll take a look at them nonetheless so we've got tan white and then an uh, off-white. And then we have, and these are the drill bags that I love. I love these drills. These drills always tend, for me anyway, to be really good. They're the ones that have the um, DMC code on the, on the um, package. And they're silver with that light blue um, stripe. Um, I've always had really good luck with those drills. I, I kind of, kind of am preferential to those. So we've got gray, black, more gray, a green, more and more and more. One, two, three, four, gr more gray, a tan. That's probably 762 light gray, a very pale pink, a navy blue, Probably dark, dark, is that dark green or dark? It's 844, is that a dark, dark green? I think it is. Uh, another gray, a light brown, a very small amount of this rose color, some 3756, that mint color, brown, navy blue, and mauve. And I wonder where that pink color is gonna go for the that rose color. I bet you in here in the stems. Yeah, it's gotta go here in the stems of the pumpkins. So that's gonna be really pretty. I fully intend to do this one for this fall and either give it as a gift or hang it in my own house. I think that this would make a super gift. And this would look great with my um, dollar store frames that I get, because it is a 30 by 40. So it'll fit in an 11 by 14 frame um, that you can get from Dollar Tree. So it'll um, be a nice, cheap, pretty fall gift. My sister hosts a Halloween party at her house every year. Maybe that would be a nice little hostess gift to take over to her. She could leave it up for the entire fall that way. Okay. What do we have next is another full drill diamond painting and <laughs> I just thought this one was too cute I couldn't resist it <laughs> it's a 30 by 40 uh, round drill 20 colors all alphabet for the key and it's Santa in a bottle of champagne Santa's getting lit <laughs> and I just thought it was super cute because he looks like he's had a few glasses already. He's just leaning out. He's hugging the bottle. I just, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was cute. So the background, while it is primarily one color and it looks like it is 3865, the back, background, it does have some sprinklings of another color in there, but you are going to be able to do a lot of multi-placing in there. Uh, 20 colors, so let's check them out. You got your toolkit. They all have toolkits. I, I don't know why I feel the need to say it every time. Every single kit you ever have is going to have a toolkit. But let's see what we've got. So we're going to have tons of white, like I said, for your background. And then you've got some off-white, some more white, very dark green, some peach, 
rose, green, brick red, gray, gray green, very light peach, brick, dark dark brown, pink, burgundy, like a flesh color, gray, mauve, light brown, and two more grays. So nothing too exciting in the color department there, but it'll work. It will work. I didn't see too much. I don't know what our primary red color is going to be for the Santa. That's interesting. You would think it'd be like 321 or 666 or 606 or something like that. But it must be that um, that's uh, more of a mauvey red than a than a true Christmas red, and it looks like it's a combination of colors instead of one you know one color, which is good. It'll give it some definition that way. Oh, did I test the sticky on this? I didn't. I gotta remember to do that. Diana keep reminded me. Very extremely sticky so sticky that it didn't want to let go so I'm very oh now I've got my cover wrong sheesh all right moving on this one it looks like somebody has been into it already sometimes they do that do you ever notice that sometimes they're already like opened and then retaped happens to me every so often this one is another nice, soft, pliable canvas. Oh, and this is the second in my bathtub series. So <laughs> here's another bathtub. Um, the other one was kind of a country rustic bathtub. This one's kind of a more Victorian fancy bathtub, 30 by 30, 22 colors, all alphabet. Um, nothing too crazy with the color codes. Sufficiently sticky, definitely sufficiently sticky, um, picture printed, definitely tons and tons of confetti, so there's no multi-placing going to be happening at all on this canvas. Very little. <laughs> Very confetti heavy. Again, these are the drills that have the DMC codes on them. Um, I really like these drills. So we've got a beige and a brown. Boy, it seems like that's all I'm showing you guys today is beige and brown, right? Chocolate brown, cream, green, Kelly green, mauve, army green, light gray, a light turquoise. What is that? 938 what is 938 like a really dark brown but it has almost a reddish almost a burgundyish tint to it more dark brown navy blue tan very light sage green very light pink baby poop brown another light green more brown a blue Ooh, a beautiful green. I love this green. This is really nice. That's a perfect green. I don't know what kind of green I would call that. What's the DMC? 371. I don't know, but I like it. I like that green. I think, did I drop some drills? No, I didn't. So just to let you know in advance, there are four bathtubs in the bathtub series. So be on the lookout. There's going to be two more bathtubs I'm going to show you before I go through with this video. I tell you, when I get on a kick, you guys, go big or go home. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it all the way. And they're cute. They're little 30 by 30. So you could, you know, put all four next to each other and they would look cute in a little arrangement. All right. What have we got for next? Is 
is another full drill. And this one is going to have tons of multi-placing because it's just a white background. But I thought this was super cute. It is an old truck and it's just filled with massive fruit. <laughs> the fruit really is like not proportionate in size to the truck. There's no way that that fruit would fit in that truck. But it's not supposed to, I, I understand that it's not supposed to look like it does. That That's just the way that the art is. But uh, 30 by 40, 23 colors, all alphabet. Um, decent canvas as far as not being too stiff. So far, none of these canvases have been that real, real hard, stiff stuff. Very good sticky. Drill kit has baggies. More drills that have the DMC number on them. I'm loving this order so far, you guys. I've been finding more and more that as I go through my, you know, and then do my big orders, I've been getting a lot from FG Normal lately. So I've got gray, rose, dusty blue, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, brown, off-white, navy blue, that's baby poop right there. That's like a green-brown. Tan. Not sure what that is. 844 again. <laughs> Boy, I can't determine that color very well. It's very, very dark green. Another dark green. Another dark green. Black. Sage green. Limish green medium green let's call it uh probably a frog green and a little bit of uh like a dark mauve and then oh i missed it here's your background is going to actually be 3866 not 3865 so it's going to be an off-white background, which will leave, which that'll be pretty with this, um, with this design. I don't prefer it when you have just a solid color background, um, but sometimes depending on the image, it can look nice. And there are words on the door of this truck that are absolutely not going to be visible. Um, I can pretty much guarantee it because I can't read it. I can't read it. From here I can't read it now so uh, you know I knew that going in and I'm fine with it can you guys read it sometimes in the camera you can read better than in person all right moving on I say that a lot don't I moving on should come up with a different thing to say but there's only so many ways you can say things all right, oh, I'm so excited about this one. Special Drill Partial. If you've been around for a while, you'll know that I used to have a dog named Snail. And um, I loved my dog named Snail. And I saw this, this is a bubble style uh, Special Drill Diamond Painting. It has 23 different drills. Holy guacamole, that is a ton. For this little 30 by 30 and it is um all letters nope they got well it's the yen symbol so it's technically a letter but it's just a y with the two slashes on it um but the thing with um these bubble paintings too is they do it's not like a normal you know on a normal special drill they only have the adhesive in the places where you're going to be putting your your drills down on the bubble style paintings, it's all, the whole thing is that he says adhesive as if it were a full drill. So I'll test that and it is very, very sticky. So that's good. And just the primary colors and I love it. Super cute, nice pliable canvas. 
for my dog Snail. Snail the good dog, the good dog Snail. We got some tweezers in this toolkit. That's what we always used to tell her. Snail the good dog, the good dog Snail. And she's sorely missed. She lived to be about 15 years old. She was a Border Collie Australian Shepherd mix. Um, that we rescued, and she was just the best dog. I mean, Bo Duke's a great dog, too, don't get me wrong, but Snail was my dog of my life. So we have some clear crystal, yellow, red, orange, purple, Kelly green, turquoise, and blue. Then we have large, extra large yellow, medium yellow, Extra large aqua, extra large green, medium clear, medium aqua, bigger than normal but not quite medium green. Then we've got the same size purple, blue, yellow, red, and then some larger red. And then we have large S in this blue, orange, and purple. So it's gonna be a true bubble style painting. There aren't any other drill types other than just, you know, round drills. And it's gonna look great. And I can't wait to do it for my Snaily girl. It's gonna be super cute. It'll look great in my, in my, uh, it'll look great in my scrapbook. I know probably most people aren't into snails, but I am. Add it to the list of weird things about me. All right. All right, now I have another special drill partial, but this one is a 30 by 40. And holy guacamole, it might be a special drill partial, but there is a ton of drilling going to happen on this. This is going to be almost entirely drilled. I wonder if they put the glue over the entire canvas. It looks like almost like they did. Yeah, the entire canvas is has adhesive, which is good. It's nice and sticky, which is good. And it's a lotus flower, uh, lotus flower with just a circular, you know, design going out from it. 17 different drill types and everything is drilled. Virtually every space that you see, even those very small areas are all drilled. So this is one that's going to take you a while. You'll get, you'll get your money's worth out of this one for sure. And this was, um, special to me because I love lotus flowers. I actually have a lotus flower tattoo on my arm. And um, yeah, I just like lotus flowers and I, and I thought that this one would be pretty. So let's look at these drills. 17 colors, did I say? Or not necessarily colors, but different types. There are a ton, this drill pack is full to the brim. Ooh, look at these. Wow, those are pretty. Look at how big those are. Those are gonna go all around there. Those are so pretty. Very bright. So we have just a very full bag of yellow, clear, light pink, red, some bigger kind of magenta, some other kind of pink, some bigger clear, larger yellow, medium size pink, medium size red, larger size pink, medium size yellow, a ginormous bag of these. This bag couldn't get more full if they wanted it to, of these large size red round, uh, medium size magenta round, medium size clear round, and then large size magenta round. So 
So it's going to be, it's going to be like a bubble painting, basically, with the exception of these teardrop shaped um, magenta ones that are going to, or bright pink, bright pink magenta, whatever you want to call it, that are going to go around the um, circle there. So that's going to be really pretty. I hope that this one flattens out fast because I want to do it. It's going to take a while though. This isn't going to be well, a quick evening project. This one, especially since it's a 30 by 40, this one you're going to be spending some time on for sure. For sure. All right. That is some drills with that, man. Let's see what we got next. Next is another bathtub. So this is the third out of fourth of our bathtub series. And there it is. <laughs> I had to have all the bathtubs. I just thought they were just too cute. But they all, I don't know if you noticed, but they all kind of have the same color scheme a little bit. So um, same drill, uh, tight bag, 22 colors, same good drill field. Drills with the DMC on the bags. White and off-white. Green, gray, two grays, brown, green, cream, light gray, beige, brown, beige, light gray, very pale pink, light gray, a couple of like limey yellows, sage green, a little bit of purple. I don't know where that purple is going to go, but it's like a dark purple, some peach, and two more browns. And that is the 22 colors that go with that bathtub. So I'm not going to be winning any awards for, you know, having the brightest color diamond paintings for with these, but I liked them. I thought that they were um, tasteful, if you can say that about a diamond painting. Tasteful. Interesting. An interesting decoration. All right. I think we'll open, I'm getting tired, you guys, and we we haven't even scratched the surface here. So I think I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to call it quits, and we'll do the second half in a separate video tomorrow, um, because I'm just tired. So I guess this wasn't that big of a marathon. I know you guys, some of you really like it when I do those hour and a half unboxings, but I just suddenly lost my mojo here, and I love I love doing this so much that I don't want to keep doing it if I'm not having a great time doing it. You know what I mean? All right. This one is a full drill, another full drill canvas, and it is a nice, soft, pliable canvas, and this is so gorgeous. I am in love with it. It's just a little 30 by 30, but isn't that beautiful? That's gonna be amazing. 22 colors, all letters for your symbols. Uh, not much of opportunity for multi-placing. There's a lot of confetti in there. Yeah, some multi-placing down here and up here. Um, it is picture printed, so you're going to have that nice lines between and behind your drills that are going to help everything to show up nice and crisp. You'll be able to, you know, see the detail on the lines of the holly leaves um, nicely. And let's test the sticky. Very, 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 very sticky. So that's wonderful. I'm really, really happy with everything in this order so far. Couldn't be better. 
could not be better. Same drill package as before with the DMC numbers on the package themselves. These are, in my opinion, some of the best of the budget-friendly drills that you can get. Um, second only to, I do like the ones in the clear bags that have that cross-hatched white writing that says diamonds. I like those drills too. Um, all right, so we've got yellow and mauve, or more of a more of a rose than a mauve rose color. Now there's some bright Christmas red, some nice bright Christmas red, purple. Look at all that purple. There's quite a big bag of that. Is that five fifty? No, it's one fifty four. Very pretty rose color, black. About three different colors of green for your holly leaves. Some bright pink, red, lime green, brown, brown, mustard. This is probably 814 burgundy. 815, I was close, still a burgundy. Beige, dark, dark brown, orangish brown dark green, yellow, and moth. And those are the 22 colors on that, and it is going to be beautiful. You know, wouldn't it be pretty if you stuck some crystals or some ABs in those bells? If you had some sparklers, that would be really pretty, like gold sparklers in the bells. That would be pretty, maybe I'll do that. I have some um, sparklers, and I think that that would that'd really make that um, glisten and shine when the light hit it for sure so that's the last one I'm going to open for tonight you guys I'm going to go spend some time with my husband uh, I told him I was going to make a video and he was like really right now yeah so I'm you know getting a little tired and feeling a little guilty so I'm going to go hang out with him for a little while um, so I hope you've enjoyed this and I will get back and we'll get to the rest of this stuff tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for your support and for watching and commenting and subscribing. I appreciate you and I will see y'all tomorrow. All right. Bye guys.